a lot of Islamic art is incredibly detailed and incredibly intricate. For Jessica Hancock, detailed and intricate is relaxing. So I've always had very steady hands. I, I wanted to be a surgeon. I wanted to do, you know, doing very small, very meticulous things that take a lot of time is appealing to me. I've always enjoyed repeat patterns and I like symmetry, but I also like the abstract nature of how lines and, and shapes overlap. Hired on as an architectural decorator for the newly built Al Huda Mosque in Fishers, Indiana, Hancock found herself surrounded by her designs. It's on the walls, it's in the locker room, it's on the mezzanine, it's on the back wall of the mezzanine. And calligraphy meaningful to the community. As an Episcopalian light, it's been a learning experience for her as well. This is a place of worship. Um, you know, it, it may not be my religion, but these people invited me here graciously for my skill and my experience and, you know, as individuals who are trying to build a, a place where faithful Muslims can come from, you know, all over and worship as they need to. And, you know, that's been an honor. Hancock has hand painted three domes in the mosque, two 14 foot smaller domes and this 28 foot dome in the main worship area called a musala. Her posture busting work brings to mind another artfully decorated house of worship the historical Sistine Chapel. He had scaffolding he could lay on his back with. You can't lay on your back in a lift. No, modern day technology does not help that. He had it easier. In my opinion, he had it easier. <laughs> Hancock didn't have to go it alone though. Her son Stefan helped to apply over 90,000 sheets of gold leaf throughout the entire building. Places with higher religious significance, such as the domes and the prayer niche, called a mihrab, are covered in a more durable 22 karat real gold leaf. Hours and hours of gold leaf. It's been precious time with my son. As a mother, you know, the day-to-day the -day time with him, and we spend a lot of time here. Um, the average day is about 14 hours, and that's not exaggerating. Uh, you know, he and I spend it together basically from the time we leave the house until the time we go home and uh, it's priceless. Hancock was asked not to incorporate imagery related to living beings such as people, creatures, or plant life, a tradition in Islamic art history with the exception of a certain floral pattern. There is a very particular way that um, you will find Islamic floral patterns drawn throughout history and in the modern times and it's more like what you see there where it's a depiction of a flower. It's not necessarily a real flower, but it's obviously a flower. Hancock's exacting geometric style has already been commissioned for another mosque in New Jersey. As an artist, she says this is all she could have ever asked for. That's my legacy. That's, you know, to know that years from now, you know, some child may look up at this place and, and look up at this dome or look at any of the things that I did in this room and be inspired by that means that my work is done. And there's more to this story coming up in a future episode of Great Day TV as we take you on an incredible tour of this finished mosque. Joy Hernandez for Great Day TV.